today i'm going to show you all how i create my sublimation wooded paddle fans this is a template i got from etsy i simply uploaded it right into canva and the paper size that you're going to put in canva is 8.5 by 11. it should look like this insert your template and start on your design So first, um, as you see here, all I'm doing is copying and pasting my images to my paddle fan template. And I'm just stretching it out here, stretching it to where I want everything to be positioned and how I want it to look. And I will do the same thing. I'm going ahead and copying and paste. I'm going to right click copy, right click and paste it onto the template. Whatever image you want, you can make these any theme, any colors. You're just creating your, desi your design on top of the template. So now I'm just resizing everything up, um, measuring everything out to make sure everything looks perfect.
next when I'm okay with my image I like everything that how it looks I'm gonna go ahead and download the image file with the PNG straight from Canva it will download onto your computer screen and when the file downloads you want to click that file and a pop-up window will come up So here is the file. This is basically your print preview page where you are able to see how everything will look before it prints. Um, what I like to do, which what you have to do with sublimation, make sure that you change the setting of your image. You're going to go down to the mirror uh, setting and you're going to flip that image. It has to be mirrored in order to sublimate your paper on sublimation paper and you are going to save that mirror flipped image make sure you choose your printer the paper type will be presentation paper mat you make sure um, you change your orientation to landscape portrait mode I'm sorry Change it to portrait mode. Your paper type will be presentation mat with the full page. I'll choose how many copies I would like, and then you're going to print. So next, everything is printed out. I have my heat press heating up. I'm going to go ahead and gather my supplies. For your supplies, you're going to need the dry erase paddle. You can get these from Dollar Tree for $1.25. You need a pair of scissors, some heat tape. I got this from Amazon. And you are going to need some butcher paper to protect your heat press from any ink. That is the image that we will be working with. As you can see, it is mirrored. Make sure that the image is flipped before you press. Next, what you would want to do, we are going to Sit our paddle board fan onto our heat press. And then uh, what you would need is some thermal laminating sheets. You will also need thermal laminating pouch sheets or however you can find them. We're gonna split them in half. Make sure you're only using one side Put it onto our paddle board. Put a piece of busher paper or anything on top to protect your heat press. And we're going to press it for about 10 to 15 seconds. Our heat press is at 400 degrees for 10 to 15 seconds just to um, melt, just to get the laminating sheet to melt onto your paddleboard. board. 
Next, you want to go in and I like to trim the edges first before I press my image on to the paddle fan. So you're just going to take some scissors and cut away the excess. doesn't have to be perfect. Just, you know, get as much as you can for now. Next, you're going to take your image and your paddle fan. So when we get ready to sublimate this, we are going to make sure that we put the shiny side down, the laminating side that we just laminated. That side goes face down. And then you are going to measure your paper, make sure everything lines up. And then you are going to take your heat tape and add a few strips of heat tape to secure your paddle fan onto the board, the paper. Nice and secure. That's pretty much all the tape that you need. You don't, don't really have to go overboard with the paper, with the tape. I'm just making sure everything is secure. So right here, all I'm doing is repositioning my paddle fan. I made a mistake with the tape, just making sure everything is lined up the way that it needs to be. That's how it should be when you get ready to press. The paper side should be facing up. Make sure your paper is facing up and my heat press is still on 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Make sure you use a Tafalon sheet or butcher paper to protect your heat press and go ahead and press. Now our 60 seconds are done. We're gonna go ahead and remove our paddle fan. Make sure you use gloves because it is very hot. I'm used to it, so that's why I don't I don't have gloves on in the video, but please, please make sure that you do wear your heat gloves. So this is how it came out. It came out very pretty. You can see the gloss, you can see the shine. No flaws, no marks, everything looks good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get again and just clean up those edges, the access that was around it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning that up, making everything look nice and neat.
so that's pretty much it guys thank you all for watching and i hope this video helps you on your crafting journey